What's up? Jeremy Goose coming back to you again today. Just to complain. It's Monday. Had a long weekend. Had a good weekend. But I come today to talk about one thing in particular. And it's a question. Why do all camera bags have to suck this bad? All right, it's probably good as place as any. Uh, the sun was terrible the other way. So I am out today just hiking around Buffalo Mountain here in Johnson City. Um, it's about 48, um, which is nice. It's been a little chilly the last few days, but winter's been mild so far to be the 4th of December. Uh, sorry about that sun play there. Uh, and we are vlogging today on my iPhone. Unfortunately, <laughs> I grabbed the A7R2 the switch pod, a bag to chuck some stuff in and headed this way, left the batteries on the table. Yep, these batteries, right there, laying on the table. So I started this video two days ago and every time I make it, I just, I don't like it. I just can't piece it together. So I thought today I'd get out, clear my head, try again, so let's walk. All right, so sorry this angle's not ideal. I didn't bring the uh, Gorilla Pod, so we're using the Switch Pod on a bench in the middle of the woods. Uh, I'm just looking for a bag that's as comfortable as this tiny one here. That's not a camera bag, unrelated. That has camera insert. Um, I want to be able to carry a lens, a couple of bodies, battery, so I don't have this problem. And uh, maybe some clothes, maybe some gloves. It's chilly out here today. Um, and I want it to be waterproof. Like, I don't think it's too much to ask. I don't want it to be my one bag that ends all bags. Uh, and there are a few companies that say that they make this bag. Uh, Shimoda, I think, have some uh, that are incredible. I think they're too big. Um, I'll never get this name right, so I apologize in advance. Brevetti uh, has some very nice potential uh, options so they have a rucksack that looks really cool they have the rumor one and two uh, the one actually has my attention a lot I hope to review that back pretty soon as well um, but for now my Takan bag is too big my Pelican case isn't coming out here with me uh, my own leather bag is I mean it's a satchel messenger style bag uh, I use that for weddings you know something looks a little nicer that's easy to quick access not for this not for these views Okay, we're almost to the views. Two things. If this uh, audio is terrible, it's because it's so flipping windy up here today. Uh, and two, I just realized I really wish I'd have brought my uh, anamorphic lens by moment. Uh, it's super wide. I'd have kept my face in a lot more of these shots, probably, had I done that. But enough of that. Money shot. Let's go. All right, you should be able to hear me now. Um, I'm just gonna make this short. I don't, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to find a bag that works. I love to hike, obviously. I'm out here today. Uh, I love to be as adventurous as possible. Whitewater rafting, mountain biking. I love all those things. I can do those things with a minimal kit. And that's all I need. I need a bag that'll hold a little bit of stuff, some snackage for fat kids like me, maybe a water bottle, and that's it, with some camera gear. Maybe a rain jacket, I don't know. Um, there are a few bags that have done that pretty well. Venta, 
Smith & Bag Company, their bag is the closest I've ever seen. Uh, if their shoulder straps were more, I don't want to say tactical. I think that's the wrong word. I don't think I want a bag that's tactical per se. If their straps were a little dented better and padded better, it would have been perfect. It holds everything I need. And I can always take the cube out if I wanted to throw some gloves in, if I wanted to throw my toboggan in or an extra jacket or something. Um, it would be tight because it's a small, small bag. But they were close. Oh, about fell. I busted my horse. So I'm curious if you've watched this through, you've seen me jump back and forth from the office to here, heading back to my car now. I want to know what bag you use if you are like minded, if you like to get outside, take just a few necessities, get a little walking in, maybe with the dogs, the family. Um, but not pack an entire Pelican case with a seven to a backpack. Like I said, my Decon bag is great. It's fairly comfortable and it's huge, but it only holds camera gear. It's designed just as a camera bag or a skateboard or a snowboard, which is a cool function, but I don't think I'll be skating out here much. The longboard can stay in the truck. But let me know in the comments below what bag you use, why you love it, and if that's a bag I should check out. Until then, thanks for watching. Ah. Uh. I'm not good at this game. Some people make this look easy. They make a few videos, they clip them in, transitions, it's great. I know how to do those things. I'm just terrible at it. Now, I, not only am I a, a camera bag junkie, I'm a backpack junkie. I mean, I currently see one, two, three, four. <laughs> I got another one hidden in the closet. Not hidden, just put away. <laughs> it's, not, it's not hidden, it's not treasure. Uh,